Hey guys, welcome back to the Run With Jay channel. So Nike just announced news that the new Pegasus 37 will be launching at the end of this month. So I'm very excited about that. And in today's video, we're gonna discuss if that shoe is worth getting and also comparing it to last year's model, the 36, as well as the Pegasus 35. So if you guys are new to this channel, welcome. Please hit that like and subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications. And let's get started. So if you've been a big fan of the Pegasus line or you've ran in Pegasus shoes before, you're most likely not going to see a difference in the way the shoe feels on you. A lot of the characteristics of the shoe will stay the same. However, it's the shoe, the way it looks, you can tell that's taken some cues from the higher end model like the Vaporflies or the Pegasus Turbo 2s in the way the foam is stacked uh, as well as the, the textile of mesh fabric used on the top and numbers on the back. The price for the shoe this year will remain the same at $120. The offset will still remain the same as well at 10 millimeters with a 24 millimeter heel drop and a 14 millimeter forefoot drop. There also will be a fly ease version of the shoe that will be released which is the version that you can tie your laces faster with just the pull. So this feature is pretty neat. I haven't really um, used it before but if you don't like tying your shoes all the time you can get this. Um, I personally like to tie my shoes myself to make sure it's secure. Um, the biggest difference for the shoe is going to be the upper. It's, this time it's going to be made with a textile translucent upper and mesh details which helps with the ventilation. Uh, the prior year's version just had the mesh upper with perforations. And also a big thing is this shoe will be using the React foam which is a big change from the Cushlon foam used in previous years. Uh, the react foam is much uh, springier and lighter giving me more bounce and also this year there will be an air zoom unit at the forefoot that is twice as large as last year's version which will give you that extra cushion and bounce as well so the cool thing about the zoom airbag this year is that they will be personalized based on gender so nike received a lot of feedback from women asking for a softer ride for their shoes so the psi for their airbags will be set at 15 psi compared to the men's at 20 psi so the weight for this year's version will be 10.05 ounces for a size 10 compared to 9.7 of last year um, also it'll have a mid boot band that adopts to the size of your foot so it gives you that comfort for every step you take and also there will be a rubber waffle outsole compared to the carbon rubber um, used in previous years so basically, you know, this shoe will be great overall shoe to kind of do it everything uh, kind of shoe. So, you know, you could go to the gym with it. You can just walk around with it. Um, you can do long runs, you know, slow runs, uh, fast runs, anything you want to do with it. So it's going to be a great shoe to do everything as well as a great shoe for starters who are just getting into running for the first time. So there's plenty of colorways that are released for the new 37 Pegasus this year. So there's about six for each male and female. So the men, they have the black Valerian blue, Sprouse Aura, Ghost Green color, and then the iron gray, particle gray, photon dust, light smoke gray color, the white pure platinum black color, the obsidian mist black lotus, pink hydrogen blue color, your uh, typical black and white and then the black olive aura laser crimson medium olive color so for the ladies they have similar colorways first they have the pure platinum laser crimson psychic blue black color and there's the pale ivory barely vault sail ghost color your typical black and white the white aura metallic silver color and the champagne white barely rose color as well as the black valerian blue spruce aura and ghost green color like the men so let's look at all three of these shoes together to do a holistic comparison so the price has pretty much stayed the same the upper has changed slightly now with the 37 having that translucent textile upper for breathability um, the foam has changed as well on the 37 to the react foam and then you have the two times air unit size for the uh, cushion 
Uh, the weight has changed as well to 10.05, which is the heaviest um, out of the three. And then you also have the same 10 millimeter offset for all three shoes. The rubber outsole has changed slightly now with the 37 having the waffle sole. And also the 37 has that midfoot band that helps secure your foot once you put your feet inside the shoe. So I think Nike did a great job with this refresh. I love where they're going with the design, how it resembles some of the higher end Nike shoes like the Vaporfly. I love how they swapped out the Cushlon foam to the React foam since um, I use it on the Infinity Run. So I, I love how that foam handles. I'm also curious about the new Zoom Air units, which is supposed to be twice the size of last year's model. So overall, I think Nike did a great job with this shoe. Um, I can't wait to try it on and this is definitely a shoe that I would consider getting. Thank you guys for watching this video. So this shoe will be released on April 28th globally. Let me know what do you guys think. Are you feeling this shoe? Uh, do you like it? You don't like it? Do you like any of the colorways? Leave any comments, feedback, questions down below and I'll try to get to those as quick as possible. So everybody stay safe and I'll see you guys on the next run.